Hello guys, how is everyone doing doing doing? I'm just so used to using guys, 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 don't mind me. So my how are you doing? Hope you are fine. Seriously, like I'm serious now. Hope you are very, very fine. You're welcome to Hope Alive Therapy. Yeah, what do we do? We give psychological solutions to psychological issues in the society. So like I said earlier, earlier before, I said July is for psychology of relationships and then we've done so much, so much. In my last video, I talked about um, LG relationships and someone just hinted me this week and said, why don't I talk about attraction, psychology of attraction? I was like, yeah, I need to do that. So I'm here to talk about psychology of attraction and I'm your psychotherapist. My name is Rema. Okay. So what do I have to say? Just because July, we are still in July, so we talk about anything that regards relationship and things like that. So that's what we talk about in July. And I want you guys to be expectant for what we're going to talk about in August because it's going to be awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> okay, what is um what what when we say psychology of attraction, we are talking about having the right mentality, having the right mental mindset, mind for attraction so everything i do is all about psychological issues so um when we are talking about attraction we are talking about getting connected to people getting attached to people and then learning to build a kind of um, emotional connection and then this thing now attraction is one of the easiest things to do majorly when you actually have that mentality but aside from attack attraction the other thing to do is actually keeping the love somebody said a psychological fact said it is easy to fall in love but the other thing to do is keeping love learning to stay in love which is actually one of the things we are going to be discussing later 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 so before i talk about um, attraction and psychology of attraction let me tell you how ideologies of attraction come come about first of all first of all we need to um how do i put it now yeah we need to first understand that we all grew up from different backgrounds different environments and different families that's number one thing we did not all grow up from the same environment understand that so sometimes when people come and be like, I'm not in a good terms with this person, I don't have to do with this person, that's because that person, probably that person's value or ideology or standard of life does not agree with yours. So that will bring me to the fact, psychological fact, number one, that you cannot attract everybody get that so when you are the type that always look for attention and you expect everybody to like you are going to have problem because in the process of having that kind of expectations and mentality you end up being a people pleaser kind of person so get that into your head that you cannot attract everybody and everybody cannot attract you i mean vice versa you cannot magnet anybody and everybody cannot magnet you so Having that understanding, so the question about you is that um, you yourself, what are your values, what are your standards, what what are the things you, you've been able to develop for yourself as a person as you've grown or probably as you are growing as a person. While I was younger, um, we used to live in um, a place where there are a lot of people and then, you know, because there are a lot of people, I've get to understand that um, there are different kind of people with different kind of behaviors and mentality. So most of the times you see some set of people really close with each other and some set of people not close to each other. It's not really because they can't be close to some set of people or be close to everybody, but because the ideology is not the same. So once you are able to understand that you cannot roll with everybody because of the level of ideology that you have or how you grew up or the kind of place in which you grew up for you will understand that we have different worlds now i'm not saying that you cannot get connected with people probably greater than you or something but of course as we grow up in life and we get exposed to so many things as we grow up we learn and unlearn so many there were so many things that 
I was taught while I was growing up. And when I grew up some ways, I decided to be like, okay, I think this is what works for me and what not works for others. So the other fact that we were trained in our homes and our society, as we also grow up as a person individually, we get exposed to different things. And as we get exposed to different things, it actually helps us to or learn some things and actually learn another habit. So when we learn those things, it becomes a part of us, it becomes a part of our personality, and we just keep growing like that, like we keep learning till we die. So that's one major thing we need to understand about life, that you can actually attract probably somebody different from you. Maybe you came out from a middle class and you were able to attract someone who is rich as well. That's based on your kind of person, and what you've been exposed to and the things you've been able to see around you. But the most important thing I want to emphasize here is that majorly at times they say opposite attract. It's true. When it comes to personality, opposites we attract each other probably a, a, a an introvert we attract a an extrovert and probably because you won't expect the same like my people to really attract each other it's not really it's not really going to be that interesting what makes it very wonderful is when opposite actually attract when it comes to personality now but majorly when it comes to standard beliefs and value it is very very important that you have a strong belief you have a strong value and you have a strong integrity to be able to attract that which is right for you now don't bring your standards and value and um, integrity into personality personality is just your person that this is who you have but when we talk about values values are the things that define you are the things that says okay i think this is what this person stands for this is what this person is worth. That's what we might value. Now, when we talk about standard, we're talking about the principles that guide who you are, the principles that guide your mentality, the principles that guide how you think, how you see things, how you perceive things, and how you sense things to be around you. Now, when we talk about your integrity, we are talking about what you stand for. We are talking about your reputation and who you are. Now, when we bring those three things together, they are the things that form similarities attracting each other. They are the things that somebody that doesn't have probably the same mindset towards you cannot be attracted by you. So probably that's how you see many people probably they tell you that when you are too intelligent, you find it hard to really find someone. Why? Because you'll be too smart, just too smart to really attract somebody that is for you. You feel like everybody is having problem and you are the only one that's not having problem. And in the real sense, you are having problem, but you are just too smart for your problem. Yeah, you are too smart for your problem. So when you talk about personality, very good opposite attract each other. So probably for your personality, if you are seeing people more like introvert around you, don't don't feel like ah this thing I'm too strong and this no don't feel like that. It's because of the kind of things that fit into you that suits into you. Now because I said that does not mean that every introvert is meant for you. Get that there are some introverts that might not really be meant for you because they are toxic, but some introverts that have been able to work on themselves and become a better, better person and be able to come out of a little bit of their share, not really because they are perfect in the real sense they'll be able to match up. Now, when we are not talking about those similarities, those values, when we talk about belief, we are talking about what do you believe in? What do I believe in? What do you see yourself becoming? What did I see myself becoming? What do we? What are the things that both guide our life and things like that? Now, if you are not careful, if you don't put those things into consideration, they will be one of the things you have to deal with in marriage or probably in your friendship with people. Because you have to come to the place where you have to understand, that, okay, this is what this person believes in. This is what this person believes in. But because most of the times when we see that we match up with people emotionally now, we tend to forget other areas that we really, really need to look into. Because many people are always easily swayed away by emotional attraction, much more than every other attraction. Now, what do I mean by emotional attraction? Probably you just felt you've been close with the person and then prepared for a day and just because the person is cute or probably the person is this and that and other things like that. And you just be like, ah, oh my God. It shifts me off my feet. My dear, wake up from the Indian song reality. You get what I'm saying? That's not, that's not the goal. The goal is you having an understanding of growth, having an understanding of values, standards, integrity, beliefs. It will actually help you to mature into a, a good balanced emotional stability. But when you get so carried away from the fact that you, you know, you just, oh, and that Indian song just keep playing in your head, my dear. You don't focus on the things you need to focus on. You won't. You won't. But when you focus on the fact that you are able to talk, that's why they said when you meet people, talk with them. 
talk, talk about things, get to know about them, know how they grew up, know where they grew up from, know their standards, know their ideology. That's why you see that probably they tell you when you go for a date, ask questions, what are your long-term goals, what are your short-term goals, what do you see yourself becoming? Now, that question is not meant for somebody that you are not meant to be too close let me say that or probably for people that are meant to be close and yourself you can ask yourself that question or for somebody if, if you have to ask somebody probably you just want to be friends with that person and so like that so probably you should ask things like how are you what are what are your values what are what are the things you aim for in life yeah that will actually make you guys to see how to help each other to become better and how to be there for each other so what i'm saying in the essence when we talk when we talk about psychology of attraction is that number one when it comes to personality you can attract opposites because opposites attract each other but when it comes to belief religion and comes to um how do i put it ideology and standards of life and principle i think you need to attract somebody that you can see things from the same perspective it may not really be all the time get that because perspective takes time because you guys are coming from different backgrounds so sometimes it's it may not but when you have so probably let me say now for somebody who is who is going to get married to a believer if you get married to a believer that have your your kind of relationship with god mindset so when you have that kind of mindset it will help both of you to be able to bridge to decision based on your level of belief and your level of commitment towards god but when you actually meet with people that are not at the same page sometimes it's always very hard to bring them to that page of attraction so most times the essence of what i'm saying is that attraction is based on who we are so when you see that you are not right as a person when you yourself you are taught or probably you're a codependent person or probably you are you, you are not really that kind of person that can define your own self your goals and your principles of life you will not be able to attract people that will push you to do the same but when you are able to overcome a lot of insecurities in yourself and you are able to really stand to some extent now this is not about perfection this is about you identifying yourself from the perspective of being firm about yourself so when you are able to get that you will see that the people you attract in your life will be people that want to work towards the same goal that want to work towards the same ideology and integrity and at the same way it will help you because it will make life more easy for you and it will make you to see rightly it will make you have a stable mental health whereby everything you see will be more easy for you to have access to and that's that on psychology of attraction in case you have more to tell us or you have anything to say to us or you have a question to ask us don't forget to test us. You can send messages to our Gmail. We'll be willing to give you answers to them. And if you are enjoying our video, time to time, back to back, it to it, just give us thumbs up. And don't forget to invite someone to subscribe. And for all our subscribers, I want to appreciate you this morning. I want to say thank you so much and hope you are enjoying us. We'll see you guys again when I see you. Bye. -bye.